Ah! It has nothing to do with what we've immediately been talking about, but since you've got a religious right guy as a prime minister now, perhaps part of the reason he got in, like Bush, fear of seeing people of the same sex kiss each other on television, or possibly even get married right in your neighborhood, because it might be promoting the homosexual agenda. Ooh. They use that term a lot in the States. We have to prevent, any of this could lead to somebody promoting the homosexual agenda. What is the homosexual agenda? Playgrounds of Liberace's and Rosie O'Donnell's? Scout masters in pink 90s imitating Catholic priests? I would actually prefer that to the other people's fantasies of a Praise the Lord Incorporated agenda. Better off grades K through 12 with the kids learning Tribe 8 and Pansy Division songs. I'd even put up with more Morrissey fans walking the earth. If it gains us more pitchforks to beat back the fundamentalist Christian agenda. And boy, do they enforce their moral values very selectively, don't they? I mean, same time Newt Gingrich got Clinton impeached for Monica Lewinsky, he was banging his secretary behind his wife's back the entire time. Jimmy Swaggart, we know about. I mean, if they're real, really that freaked out about people flipping the scripture, why are they so obsessed with the so-called homosexual agenda instead of trying to get rid of Santa Claus. I mean, well, you know, there ain't nothing in the Bible about Santa Claus. Muslims don't have a figure like that. Buddhists don't. Jews don't. Hindus don't. Only Christians let the temple get this bazaar on their <laughs> prophet's birthday. You know, what does Santa deliver that Jesus can't deliver? Presents. <laughs> Gifts. For free. Something for nothing, the American way. 